Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be going over the Neptune Apex. This is the A3 Pro model. I got this as part of the prize winnings at the Reef of Palooza Dallas show about two weeks ago. I'm super excited. This is an upgrade from my current Apex. I'm currently running, I think, the A, the EL entry level Apex that's at least three, four years old. So this is an upgrade, not just to um, <laughs> the generation, but also to um, the additional features that it comes with. So let's get into it. But I've opened up the box and right away we can see a couple uh, new items that are exclusive to the A3 model. This is a water sensor. I'm going to be putting it in my sump in the return chamber just to monitor whether my water level is lower or higher than expected. We also have um, a leak detector, which is part of the Pro model as well. Not too sure well where I'll be installing that, but maybe next to my sump. Take this off. So that's these two gadgets. I believe they're exclusive to the Pro model. Got some cables. Um, looks like this is to hold the uh, level in place. So you just connect it to your sump and you slide the um, ruler looking thing through here. So we got three probes here. You've got your temperature probe, your pH probe, and your ORP probe. I don't believe they offer the salinity probe anymore. That's maybe new. And then, sorry guys, my cat's going to join this video. We have the, um, the brains of the operation, I would say. So over here we have a lot more ports than my EL version, which is great. Got the energy bar, which is pretty much exactly the same that I have right now with the EL. I'm debating on whether I want to find a way to connect the two um, energy bars together or just run my old Apex on a different system. And lastly, we have calibration solution for the pH probe. And that's everything. <laughs> All right, so um, the energy bar is the same as it was. All right, so let's keep this going. So the energy bar appears to be the same as the previous EL version. There's probably some upgrades I'm not aware of. It's got the four ports as usual, the LED lights to indicate what's on. Um, the same mounting bracket at the very back and it comes with the screws to mount it. So that's all the same there. And um, this one, again, same body as the EL version and you're able to mount it as well, same way as before. All right, that's everything. Now I'm gonna go in and install it. If you don't already have the Apex Fusion app on your phone, use the Get Started QR code in the box. Here I'm naming my aquarium and selecting the brand. As they don't have the 150 external, I'm selecting the internal. I have the pro version, and here I'm going to select every single item that's included in the box. Wi-Fi connection, connect the apex to the energy bar as seen in the video, and then once complete, power it to the wall.
Now, the app is searching for your Apex. Once connected, we will move over to Wi-Fi, put in your information, and we'll be directed to the next screen. Success. Last but not least, let's calibrate the pH probe. Start by soaking the calibration solution in your aquarium water for 10 minutes to get it temperature acclimated. Log into your Apex Fusion app, go to your tests, and scroll down till you see pH calibration. Select your probe. We're going to be using the 7 and 10 solution. Once ready, place your probe in the calibration solution and press next. This part here can take quite some time. As you can see, there's a 160 second countdown. Usually it doesn't take the whole amount of time. You can speed it up a little bit by shaking the probe within the solution. Once all three are green, you can press next. The last solution you'll be using is the 10 pH. Once again, you'll go through the same process. Wait for all three green check marks. To speed it up, just wiggle the probe within the solution. And there you have it. Thanks for joining, guys. Have a great day.